So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from minus 3 to 4 of f of x dx, where f of x equals 2 if uh, x is in between minus 3 to 0, and then uh, if x is uh, between 0 and 4, we use 6 minus x squared. And so how do we solve this problem? Well, it's a piecewise function, right? So if you have a piecewise function, what you want to do is um, take your integral and split it into two different ones. And you're going to make uh, a distinction when they switch values. So here you can see they switch it to, or like our function splits into two different ones at zero. So I'll show you what we mean. So we've got our integral here. So I'm going to write two different ones. So we're going to start with our lower bound. Then we're going to go all the way up to where our piecewise function splits. So in this case, it splits at zero. So we're going to go minus three to zero. And then whatever the function is um, in between that uh, range or domain, we're going to put that inside of our integral. So in this case, it's 2. So we're going to put 2 inside of it. And then we're going to add this entire thing. I'm trying to draw parentheses. And then plus, we're going to add this to the integral from uh, whatever value we split at. So in this case, it was 0. So we're going to put 0 here. And then up to our upper bound. So in this case, it's 4. And then on the inside of our integral, we're going to write what it is in between those. So from 0 to 4, it's 6 minus x squared. So that's what we're going to write on the inside. And I should have put dx here and there. Let me write that. And then, so now we just got to solve. So let's go ahead and do this one first. So we got to find the antiderivative of 2. And so the antiderivative of a constant is just going to be the constant times the variable. So in this case, it's 2x. And then we're evaluating it from 0 and minus 3. So if we plug in 0 into this, 2 times 0 is going to be 0. And then we minus our lower bound plugged in. So it's going to become 2 times minus 3. And then 2 times minus 3 is going to be minus 6. So we're minusing our lower bound. So 0 minus minus 6, which is just going to become 0 plus 6. So 0 plus 6 is 6. So we know the answer to our first integral is 6. So we're going to take 6, then we're going to add it to the value of this integral here. So let's find that one. We have 6 minus x squared. Let's find the antiderivative. So first we have a constant, so it's going to become 6x, right? Because we have a constant, we just multiply it by the variable. And then we have minus x squared. So that's going to become minus x squared is, uh, we add one to our exponent, so x cubed over 3. But it's uh, minus, we times by minus 1, basically. So minus x cubed over 3. And then we want to evaluate it from 0 to 4. Right, because that's what it says up here. And so let's try 4 first. So if we plug in 4, we're going to get 6 times 4 minus 4 cubed over 3. So 6 times 4 is 24. And then minus 4 cubed is 64. Then it's over 3. So I'm going to rewrite 24 to be over 3 um, so we can actually subtract. So 24 times 3 is 72. So I can rewrite 24 as 72 over 3. And then we're minus 64 over 3, which becomes uh, 8 over 3. So when we plug in 4, we're going to get 8 over 3. And then we minus uh, 0 plugged in. So if I plug in 0, 6 times 0 is going to be 0. And then 0 cubed uh, over 3. This is whole thing is going to become 0. So 6 times 0 is 0, minus 0 cubed is 0, which is just 0 over 3. So just going to become 0. So we're just subtracting 0, which basically doesn't subtract anything. So the answer to this integral is going to become 8 over 3. So we're going to add it. So 6 plus 8 over 3, so the answer to this integral, um, plus this one. So 6 plus 8 over 3. Um, but I'm going to rewrite 6 to be over 3. So we can just multiply by 3. So it's going to become 18 over 3. And then we're adding 8 over 3. 18 plus 8 is 26. So it's going to become 26 over 3. And so this is going to be how you uh, solve an integral where you have a piecewise function. So the answer to this is just going to be 26 over 3.